Hey there, hi there, oh, there's Jeff Carter, and welcome to Final Cover of the Quail Hollow Terminus Golden Tiger League. Lee Trevino, who has a second place finish in July, has a chance to win this tournament and go to Augusta and not have to worry for the second place playoff. Jim Colbert at 700 par, an on hook for at 600 par, trying to steal that spot and get to Augusta somehow. You see Tom Weisskopf, who has a runner, Weisskopf, who had a runner up finish. In April, he's up there, too. We see other golfers with Dave Goosen, Bert Yancey, and all that. So, the final group of Trevino and Colbert will be the future matchup here. We have a soft course, normal green, standard rough, strong wind with southwestern division. Direction. What is their division? Blech. I'm losing my fucking head. Sorry. Crampton is making a move, but maybe too low to me. Well, triple bogey by me. Dr. Carrington's doing quite well. He's catching up. Oh. As he has 66 for Boo Weekly, he leads at 500 par. Peter Ustenhout, 400 par. Padre Carrington, Graham Marsh. We have some clear radical numbers. Almost everyone's done, by the way. Will Padre Carrington catch up and pass Boo Weekly? Of oh, the tie. So, weekly inherited Graham Marsh. Will he be the new leader? No, he won't. So, fire under par. JC Sneed. No, he's at five under par. See, Rich Beam. Well, many guys haven't started yet. So, right now we have a four way tie at five under par, which would be for the lead. Oh, right. Steve Alini. All right, so we should be able to get Trevino and Colbert soon. Well, we have a new leader, Anthony Kim, 600 par. Mark Hayes, we have a 700 par, 65. So Mark Hayes has come out of freaking nowhere. Woody Austin, Rich Bean. Looks like there are golfers who are going to score some big points. All righty, we'll be ready for Trevino and Colbert. 
A is at 800 par, Rich Beam at 800 par. Those guys, Woody Austin 700 par, so that's not good for him. Here's Trevino. Lead off here. Uh oh, that's black. Colbert. Oh! Hey. Second shot. Over. Over. Okay. Trevino. Trevino. This will be a par. Birdie. Got it. Over. He's got great shots. Trevino's got par. Tom Weisskopf, I'm going to say. The wind's strong. I thought the wind was strong in the first place. Over. Oh, wow. That wind sure is strong. Trevino. Wow. Ay. For fire. Share. Trevino could get a pogey. Cover. No. Damn it. Trevino. Double pogey. Better get you. That's not good for Trevino. Roger Mulvey's now at 700 par. John Weisskopf's in the lead. I think. Yep, so now that birdie. So Weisskopf, who had that runner up finish on in April, trying to turn that into a win. I think I'm going to die, Weisskopf. Or was that Lane? No, it's Weisskopf. Weisskopf. The Vito went right from the middle of the fairway. Colbert went a little bit to the right. Get rid of the big one. Not like it's in the parking lot. The Vito. Now he's in the parking lot, too. Good boy. Here's a drive. Put it in the car. Cover it. Cover it. Cover it. Tom Weisskopf in the lead under par. Hayes and Beam at 8 under par. They are second place. Weisskopf hard, so he still got the chance. Cover. Right down the middle. Thirteen down the middle. Three nineteen. So we know we have shot. Cover. Oh, uh, Cover. That's okay. Oh, Birdie. Too much. Trevino's falling apart. Okay, that's not bad. Trevino's got to get a third shot coming up. Remember, it's a part five. Trevino. Cover. Mm. Birdie. What? What?
This one's mine. I think these guys are doomed to fail. Cover. Yeah, I think these guys are doomed to fail because of the Covert. Trevino. These guys are Red's Club has a one stroke lead on Hayes and Bean. Well, they're done. But McCarran, Maltby, Choi, and Cabrera, they're still fighting. Still fighting. Where's McCarran? Weisskopf's got birdie now. Looks like he's got the the tournament. Well, McCarran and Cho Choi are at nine under par. Colbert. Oh, work. That work. You don't want to do that. Put it too far away. Oh, you know. oh, it went into the water off of the bunker. Well, that's a nice shot. That will save him a ton. Colbert says he'll lag it. Smart idea. For Brady. Oh, no, he overshot it. All that just for a car. I'm sure triple bogey. So, Colbert made a terrible mistake. He had a chance at Eagle. Well, he lagged it. Trying to get close to the point for Brady. Well, he's close to that point. And then the height to be. Second shot. Good. It's going away from the hole, so he'll go for the car park. And now for Birdie. Are you for real? Are you for real? Double sixes was the only thing he got. He had a better chance to come very close. Wow. Well, if he can do it, oh, Trevino couldn't. I was going to say, if he can do it, Trevino can do it. Probably Tolbert made a birdie on that hole. Under nine. On the side, push it over. Trevino. Okay. Good shot. Good work. Good work. That was worse. Cover, cover. Chiquito. Karen and Weisskopf both at 9 under par. Roger Bolby at 9 under par. Cabrera at 9 under par. Scott McCarron's now got the lead with a pretty on 17. So Scott McCarron. Well, we'll see what Weisskopf can do. Minus 10. Weisskopf only can par. So Scott McCarron has the lead. Unbelievable. Scott McCarron? Yes, Second shot. Okay. Maybe you're fault. And Colbert doing that job. Trevino. All right, now he's got some chance at a point. Jim Colbert. Oh, that shot. Yeah. Ah. Trevino. My God, are you kidding me? Colbert's got two birdies. Trevino not even one. Because mm. it's always the jinx. It's like, you gotta hope you play the last round perfectly. Colbert. Mm. Trevino in the pine straw. Okay, he'll have to shoot. Um, 
long ago. Second shot. And then now. Cover, cover. Oh my gosh, I thought you had a birdie. Trevino, no. Man, he's been sliding all day. He's been sliding. Aaron Bradley Eagles, so he's at seven under par. Of course, soon we'll be, after this hole, we'll get to the leaderboard. Oh, to the left. That's to the left. A little to the left, my ass. A little Trevino scoop up. And now the chance. Oh, look at that. Good shot by Clover. He has a chance at birdie. Trevino. Birdie. No. How? How? Trevino, oh, man. He's just sliding. McCarran's at 10 under par. Weisskopf still has a bit of a chance. Maltby and Yancey. Bird Yancey. 10 under par. Well, I don't know. Weisskopf looks like he's got a chance, and Cabrera's got a chance. Up and over, up and over. Yeah. Here we go for part. No. That is he got Oh, my spot's got thirty and fifteen, so now he's got a chance to win this tournament. Nice job, left to right. Oh, oh, wow. Well, he's not going to make it through. Who's Trevino? Oh, my goodness. He had a chance at an eagle. For fire. Right. You better hit this. It is. Alright. Alright. What is this be doing? On to 15. The last part 5. Here's the last. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we You don't want to hit the water. Whoa, that was out of bounds. How? Wind. Trevino, Trevino. Oh my gosh, what a setup for a birdie attempt. Colbert, Colbert, gotta get closer than that. Bogey, no, a double. He's sliding. So the Karen and Weisskopf are both at 10 under par. Bert Yancey at 9 under par. Well, he already won a tournament. That was in June. So Yancey can't be top two. Well, Weisskopf could be there. Get his name. Weisskopf birdie. So if Weisskopf can par, I think he's got it. Yeah, he's pretty much got it. Cabrera can't catch. I'm thinking it's going to be Weisskopf wins, and then McCarran will take that second place. Thing. There's still a few more holes left. All right. Second hole. Trevino. Pretty. Nice pile. Trevino. No.
Weisskopf, well, he parred. So I don't think anyone's going to catch Weisskopf. So Weisskopf did win my stroke. I kind of figured he was going to win. So it's him and McCarran will take second place by my guess. So Weisskopf will turn that second into a first. And go with Nestle. And shut there. And McCarran will now take the second place. Very close right there. And this will be the last hole. So Vina really is throwing the top four over here, so we hold it three over par, I think, right? Just make sure we take a look. Yep, I was right. I thought Trevino had some sense. I didn't make that four next. for a big win for Tom Weisskopf as he turns a second place in April into a title win in November, which means that he will win. He's the first golfer since Bert Yancey to be from the 70s to win a tournament because it was Ames, Tiger, Bubba, and Fury. So Weisskopf wins with 11 under par. Scott McCarron takes second 10 under par. The good news for McCarron is that as a runner up, he will take place in the qualifying tournament properly. Bert Yancey took third at 9 under par. Mark Hayes and Rich Bean tied at 8 under par. Woody Austin and Luke Donald. Bob Murphy, Roger Mulpey, P Dale Douglas, and KJ Choi all went 7 under par. But in the end, Weisskopf was the winner with a 66, so it was McCarron. So Weisskopf, let's check his four rounds. He was, he wasn't that, look at the finishing fury. He was two over par. He actually made, just made the cut. Weisskopf just made the cut. But then he put up a seven under par yesterday with seven birdies. And today he put up, Nine birdies. Yeah, he put up nine birdies and three bogeys. So what a round for him. It was an up and down round, but Weisskopf, look at the he was plus two. We should take a look. It's got McCarran, minus one, minus three, even yesterday. Two bogeys today, but hey, eight birdies. So Scott McCarran, maybe. So Weisskopf. Yeah, the cut line was plus two. Weisskopf was actually tied for 66. Well, basically Weisskopf was on the cut line at plus two. Because he saw how many blankets and the elder. And then round three. Round three, Weisskopf went all the way from 66 to fourth with that round of 65, which was the best round of any of those top 10 golfers. So 65 on round three got him all the way to that seven under par, got him all the way to fourth, four strokes back at Trevino. And then he put up a 66 with a six under par round. Not the best impressive round. I mean, Anthony Kim, Mark Hayes, and Rich Beam impressed too. But in the end, Weisskopf, what a job. He was one six-footer away from being missing the cut. And then he pulls off a 65 and a 66 on the weekend to win the tournament. He's going to Augusta. McCarran, not bad, he's second, but Weisskopf is the hero. Amazing. And then now I got to set up for the match play tournament. So Weisskopf won't be going to the match play, obviously, because he's won a tournament. So there. Mm. Anyway, I dreamt I'm going to do.